Hey guys, it's Arleman. So our fourth boss in the series is unfortunately the hardest. Or rather the one that is the most RNG, and that is the Lich Occultist. What makes this guy a massive, massive pain in the ass is, is that he is permanently, I wouldn't say immune, but he is highly resistant to everything. However, he does spawn multiple skeletons, and the trick is, is, is that if the skeletons are ignited, when they blow up, they have a chance of breaking through his armor and stunning him, which makes him vulnerable to being slammed. The unfortunate part is, is that his, his skeletons are what triggers them to explode, like they have they can be ignited but when they explode there's not like a timer or anything it's just random you can either have fights where it goes very quickly and very smoothly and fights where the skeletons don't do anything they they run all over the place they go over your companions um i have yet to find a reliable strategy for this guy this guy that gets me an s ranking outside of just being fortunate with placement of these uh his his minions so for this this is the setup i use for him actually i should i should probably just go ahead and put the okay so because this is fire, um, as well as a stun issue, I use a nightfall for the stun. Now, I don't use chain fire the, for this, I use the standard fire burster because chain fire is single attack, the fire burster is wide. Um, you do have a wide attack fire burster, but the amount of time that it takes to fire, I got it here somewhere. You can see how much I love uh, spread effect. That's right. You can use a spread effect fire burster, but the problem with the spread effect is is that it takes too long to fire, and this fight is very tight, tightly timed. Um, I'm using a heaven star for the crit rate. I'm using uh, the knight's reinforced mace for the stun damage. I'm only using two of the three pieces of the Shadow Killer set, and the reason for that is that I still get uh, a little bit of a set effect, but because you, one of the big things with this fight is getting something that gives you stun duration increase, um, because you're only assuming you get the window, you only need one window to kill this guy. All right, I'm using Death Scholar for the elemental attack boost. Now I'm using Meteora to ignite the minions. So Meteora and the Fire Burster. And I'm using Philippa to help me get the stun status effect off. Now there is no telling if this is going to be a good run and I'm not going to record this 9,000 times until I get it perfect, but I want you to see just how RNG this fight is. Your mileage may vary, so maybe we'll get lucky, we'll get it on the first try. I hope so. But this guy, they, they need to retune him, or slow his mobs down, or do something else, because this, this fight sucks. It is the most RNG out of all of the fights, and if you this is what I save my skip tickets on. Let me just tell you that. Alright, so... He's gonna summon his underlings. We wanna get between him and his underlings and we... Shit. Alright. Well, he hit me during the fire burst. We're just gonna wait till they come back. And then we're gonna use Philippa. And they should ignite. All of his boys. Okay, they're lit. They're all ignited now. You gotta get close to him. As you can see there, that didn't work as well as we had hoped. He's stunned. Alright, so one of the skeletons. As you can see there, it just takes one. He's ignited. 
and I'm stunning him. My next stun cycle is up. And that's basically what has to happen. Is, is that you have to ignite one of his one of his cronies, and then you have to get close to him. And as you can see here, they're all ignited, and they're going to explode right on top of me. They need to explode on top of him. There, perfect. Well, that was salvageable. Um, but yeah, that's basically the fight. Is, is that you ignite his his friends, and if one of them explodes next to him, there is a chance. Oh, thank you, Jesus. His secret shop is available. That makes me so happy. You have no idea. Okay. Secret shop. Secret shop is something that allows you to, uh, you can sell components of stuff that you don't need. Like, I have a whole bunch of this stuff here. Cold flesh, don't need it. So now I have a whole bunch of coins. And now I can buy all of his stuff, some of which for very reduced rates. So I already have 14 of those. You can even buy sulfur. Um, but I do not have... So I just bought 8 of those. Nice. How many coins do I got left? I got 400 coins. This is a great addition to the game also. It allows you to recycle a lot of accessory, a lot of additional drops that you have that you just really don't need. Anyway. Uh, that was the Lich Occultist. Hope it was helpful. Until next time, all in and out.